Okay, last but not least, Libra. All right, October 31st to November 22nd. Tourmaline, scales, justice, kidney, thymus, Friday, topaz, Venus, copper, and jasper. Number six. I got a couple cards that are facing forward. Just give me a second here. Or you know what? Maybe that's meant to be that way. Who knows? Over nine, over nine, over nine. Rest and relaxation, rest and recover, over nine. Um, maybe you want to go into recovery. Just remember, take your time, baby steps. If you're trying to cut out smoking or drinking, please be cautious not to do it all at once. Trust yourself. Know that once you quit, you no longer need it. If you are using it as a crutch for something, then you have to figure out whatever that something is so that you're not looking for another crutch to replace your current bad habit. I feel the need to say that. And by the way, over nine, nine is completion. You're overdue for completion. You're overdue for some shit. Hmm? Okay. You got the Knight of Clubs in reverse. Tired of fighting. Tired of seeing what you see. Tired of the visions. Tired of putting your heart on your sleeve. Let's see. I don't blame you if that's the case. You're allowed to take some rest and recover. You're allowed to take some time for yourself. Book a vacation. If you haven't used any vacation days, please book some time for yourself. How are you supposed to give your love or energy or take care of if you got children or so? How are you supposed to do any of that when you've drained yourself dry or you've let other people drink from your cup and you haven't replenished yet? <clears throat> Interruption, unexpected change, quarreling, breakup of personal relationships and rupture. If you were in a toxic relationship, it was nothing but fighting. The breakup is necessary. Know that it doesn't have to necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It just means that it's a shift. It's a change. You're being given the opportunity, one, to learn the lessons, take them with you, or to give yourself space, and also mature from whatever the situation ship was. Rupture. Uh, if you have any sort of ailments any sort of pain in your abdomen, go to the hospital. Um, quarreling, again, with relationships. If it's family, just remember that the more energy and time you give to somebody that doesn't give two shits if you're trying to heal or if you wanna do good or anything like that, if they are not for your highest good, you're wasting your fucking time. I hate to I hate to be blunt about it, but I'm sorry if it's friends or family, every time you try to speak good about something or you try to lift yourself up or you're trying to improve yourself, take a look at your kidneys too. That would be flush your kidneys out, cranberry water, uh, drinking habits. Anyways, um, yeah, if you're spending so much time with people that are knocking you down constantly, how are you supposed to elevate and grow? How are you supposed to mature and advance? How are you supposed to elevate and keep yourself, your vibrational frequency high? Your company around you matters. Just keep that in mind. That was only the first card. It's been three minutes. Damn. Where are you putting your energy? Movement forward. Maybe you need to move. Maybe you need to get your own place. Maybe you need space. Maybe, okay, the moon's out in full. Um, there's been a lot of spell work and crap done by a lot of people during the last full moon, which we'll go back to them. Don't worry about it. Um, movement forward. If you put your time and effort into something moving forward, it should be going I wouldn't worry too much about anything that has been stuck or stagnant. There should be movement. Don't worry too much about it, okay? Um, yeah, swift activity, sudden progress, speed, hastily made decisions. Too rapid advancement. Uh, that would be quitting anything if you're going to quit. 
just make sure you don't do it all at once. That's what I did, by the way. Big mistake. I put my body into shock. Just be careful with that. Strength in reverse. Okay, so sometimes that could be fears. Maybe you're getting over your fears. Maybe you're you're fighting your fears or you're going to turn your fears into strength. Mm, I wouldn't worry too much about it as long as you don't feed too much into it. Every time you get a fear that comes across you and you're like, you get that almost gasping inside. It doesn't even have to be on the outside, but that, that gasping feeling just like, um, like you want to lock up, unlock yourself. Don't be afraid. Just go for it. Uh, what do you call that? Psych yourself up. Be like, you know what? Fuck it. Doesn't matter what happens. Doesn't matter what comes. Doesn't matter how a person's gonna act. I'm gonna do what the fuck I need to do for me right now. It needs to be done. A lot of people think this is just a game, right? They think they're just playing or whatever. And maybe you think it's a game too, but it doesn't really matter. Fear is not gonna get you anywhere. I'll tell you that much. Okay. One more card, and then I'll switch over. Okay, that was... You're always dropping shit, eh? Somebody could be putting dropping, drop it spells. Oh. Okay. Separation's a normal part of life. Whether it be physically or just a relationship. Heartbreak. It's a process, okay? If you are with somebody and you're both bouncing back and forth the negative energy, it's not healthy for either of you. It doesn't necessarily mean one's in the right and one's in the wrong. It just means you're both not learning the lessons and you're hurting each other. Sometimes it's good for separation before there's any betrayals, okay? You don't want to get to that far. If you've hurt somebody, be prepared. That's going to come back to you. Oh, that's going to come back to you big. Not only is there nine sores, but then you got 10, 11, and 12. Not to mention the two, four up the top. 16 in total. Which is seven reduced. That's 16 swords. If you're hurting somebody that bad, you must be hurting. If you are saying callous words and not even thinking twice about it, that's how hurt you are. Like if you are cutting a person up so bad, you're not even showing any empathy or understanding or seeing both sides of it or treating them like a fucking human being, then that means you must be that hurt. That's not, that's not healthy at all. Anyways, if, if you're on the receiving end of this, please know your reaction is very important. Stay calm, do whatever you need to do to keep your, your vibration high, take your space, if there's a separation, somebody's been that harsh on you, please take the time. And I'm not going to shut up. Please take the time. All right. To know that it's a, a two way thing. The other person must have been in a lot of pain to cause you that much pain. Okay. Sometimes people don't know how to cope. So they project or they hurt other people. The worst part is, is Libra is supposed to be part of the justice system. They're supposed to be the balance as well. Not to saying that's just putting all the responsibility onto them, but just saying things got to balance out. All right. Uh, elementary. It's elementary. Dear Watson. Primary uncompounded teaching first principles or rudiments yeah I think that's a basic it's a basic fundamental thing right we're, we're going to like probably like back to elementary school like name calling and shit like that
Listen to music if you have to, if it helps. Heat, the sensation produced by bodies that are hot. Hot air, hot weather. Okay, so if you're spitting out hot air, <laughs> um, what a lot of people say, if you, you're blowing off steam too, hot weather, hot weather. Okay, maybe you got a thick accent. High temperature, degree of temperature, a single effort, a course at race, animal excitement, rage. Ah, there we go. Animation and thought or discourse, fermentation, drinking and, and anger do not mix. To make hot, to warm with passion or desire, to rouse into action, to grow warm. If you're... Your relationship's just solely based on physical, and you got a lot of drinking and fighting. It's not healthy. Slut. A woman negligent of tidiness and dress. A slattern. Okay. So I personally don't find it offensive to be called a slut, but there are some women who take offense to it. If a person is not respecting their body that's their choice if you are calling a woman a slut or a man calling another man a slut I don't care about the the gender stuff transgender okay but if you are calling another person a slut you're going out of your way to shame them for a decision they're making based off of your own insecurities so that means you think you're a slut basically Male slut even, doesn't have to be female. Just saying. Constitution. The particular frame of character or character of the body or mind. Established form of government, a system, fundamental laws, particular law. So whatever you're thinking in your own head becomes your reality. Thoughts become things. What you say to another person is very important. Keep that in mind. I'm already at 12 minutes. Hum humble. Be humble. Of a low, mean, or unpretending character. Lowly, modest, meek, humbling. To make humble. To abase. To lower. You could be lowering yourself. Lowering your standards. Okay, one room. Let's try to keep this positive, shall we? Learn the lessons. Uh, where my book at? Oh, I should know this one by now. Just give me a second. A scene. 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 Fertilization, if you don't want to get knocked up, use it. Protection. Actualization, beginning, balance, productivity, growth, common sense. Family, home, relief, nature, frith, plenty, faith. If you got a baby daddy, baby mama, and it's really more complicated because you have children involved, do the best you can to spare the children. Do not fight in front of them. Do not use your petty bullshit and project that onto them or use them as pawns by any means. Do not, do not use them against each other, okay? Keep the children out of it. Learn your lesson, find your happiness. If you are better parents separate, that's okay. That's okay, it's not a bad thing. Hopefully that helps. <laughs>